the short term dips at 14.33 so this is this candle here and we also get a max strong bid coming in at 14.33 so obviously that means that on this retest here that's going to be the trade you're looking for to buy into right there and what a crazy good buy trade that was off that max trade level you see how good that was so it's the tie-in isn't it it's the tie <clears throat> it's a tie-in to that information so we've just came off of 42s and we've just traded 62s in 60 seconds, which means you've just made $400 in 60 seconds, which is pretty good. So when you see a discount coming in, you're obviously watching to see if they start offering into higher prices. You know, obviously that's going to be something that you start looking at if it's going to show up, but it hasn't. So we're still looking at that as a narrative. It's still developing into this top edge retest. Look at that buy trade, guys. Look at that max buy trade. 1433 max buy trade. Look at this, guys. 1433 is the end of that candle. We got a dip here. We got a rip back in here. And it's just went from 40s to 70s. $600 profit into day highs. $600 into day high sessions. That is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Hedge activity for mean reversal, offering top edges at 35, aggressively offering short-term rallies at 35. So you can see those aggressive offers coming in at 35. Do you see them? Well, look at what happened to that aggressive offer, guys. Is that not sensational? Remember, 35 is the close of that candle. It's the close of that candle, guys. Nothing else. So when we get that 1435, remember this candle is 1434, which closes at 1435. And you can see we're getting aggressive market makers offering short term rallies, market makers aggressively offering short term rallies. And we also had this hedge fund activity suggesting that we were going to get another mean reversal into that liquidity pool. Well, there's the liquidity pool, isn't there? So there's your line there. We can we could we could label that line if we wanted to. So we could draw that line in there and say, right, well, what is that there? Well, we can label it. That there is a liquidity pool. Day session highs day session highs so there's your day session highs and at day session highs into liquidity pools which is what we were asked to do here we managed to rotate the price out of that liquidity pool beautiful isn't it absolutely beautiful you may be saying but why are we not getting any of these h vol arrival rate triggers here because it's the cash open and everything's going to be based on this candle here. That's why we don't get the big volume. Does it mean big volumes don't exist? Of course not. It's just one of the downsides of having an H vol relationship is that we have massive volumes, but we don't get any H vol candles until that volume drops out of the drops out of the average that you're using. Yeah. These are not small volume candles. They are enormous volume candles. Just a side point, guys, just a side point. Anyway, let's see what happened next. So we had the massive sell into this offer, aggressive sell. And then at 36, we're now looking at the NASDAQ bidding number one global macro fund hedgers. Where's that going to be? Day session lows. It's a commercial buyer. So at 36, which is this candle here, you're going to be saying that the NASDAQ fund hedgers are now going to come in at that price. So we're going to get bids coming in at that point. Okay, 1436. That's on this candle here. Okay, 1436, a buy program irrelevant. NASDAQ futures bids expected from the number two hedge fund as well. So not only the number one hedge fund, the number two hedge fund as well. So that's a second bidder at the bottom edge. So we stack those bids into the bottom edge. The S&P is expecting strong hedge activity to have a mean reversal into liquidity which is there so this is the liquidity pool number two session lows there it is 
So we now have that liquidity pool. Strong hedge activity, futures discount to fair value, futures discount to fair value. So we're buying into those discounts. And that's what we've just done. Max sell trigger at 39. So that's going to be a max sell trigger. It's not the dispersion sell, it's an HFT. So it's a sell on the drop. So we've probably somewhere about here. So that's not going to trigger. And there we go. There's another brilliant buy trade. Watching to see if we get a sell. So there you go. Look at those bids and offers, guys. Is that not unbelievable? Remember, this was a max bid. Not just a bid. This was a max bid here. And then we had this aggressive offer. We had these uh, hedge fund buyers and we're now in a, a balance. Bottom edge, bottom tick. Top edge, top tick. Bottom edge, bottom tick. Balance. Are there anywhere else on the planet that can trade the three top tick and bottom tick prices in a row? Accurate to literally a couple of ticks each time? Probably not. Probably not. But we've just done it, and you can see we've just done it because it's all in that trade log. Every single one of those trades is in that trade log for you to mark off on your screens. Crazy, 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 crazy. Love a bit of crazy.